Hey guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I wanted to make a video about the value, okay, in a man and a value in a woman and how they are different, okay? If you can think of a value scale with 10 being the highest value and zero being the lowest, okay? What is it that makes that, that uh, a man judges a woman's value, okay, under what lens and vice versa, okay? How does a woman judge a man's value, okay? Before we continue, uh, subscribe if you have not already. And as always, uh, we have a couple spots left uh, in our next round of eight-week mentorship. Guys, you're absolutely destroying. Do not delay. The spots are limited there. I know that it's not just a line. Uh, word is spreading. We are churning out elite players Okay, in a two-month mastermind that includes 32 calls with me and my head coach and all the best content across the entire game. Okay, The link is in the description. So... Here, this comes kind of from old school mystery stuff, but I think it's, it's pretty right, okay? A woman's value is almost exclusively judged in a matter of a split second, okay, by her physical looks, okay? I'm not saying that women are only looks, okay, and they have no other stuff to bring to the table or that's the only thing that defines a woman. We have evolutionary circuits, okay, as men, that allow us to size up a woman's value. So we see a girl... 7.4, okay, and that's, you size that up instantly and that stays relatively fixed, okay? And yes, you can like and dislike other parts of her personality, but in terms of like the value, we're sizing it up almost completely on her looks, okay? That's, that, that may sound uh, shallow or misogynistic or whatever. Uh, it's heavily supported in evolutionary psychology. Men are looking at uh, hip to waist ratio and other different physically attractive characteristics that are going to signify that his mate, okay, the, the, the woman he impregnates, is going to be ma providing, um, creating good offspring. Okay, that is why younger girls in the prime of their youth look much hotter, okay, than like an 80-year-old woman. Okay, and this is also why when you take like an 80 year old man who's married to that 80 year old woman and they've been in love for 60 years, okay? He's still gonna turn in some cases and look at a 19 year old stunner's ass when she's walking by in tight clothing or at, an, at another young hot girl's cleavage, okay? Why do women get less hot as they get older, okay? When they're elderly, they're, they're fucking in menopause, they can't even reproduce. Again, I'm not saying that a woman is worthless if she's not hot, okay, or, or her value declines. Uh, on an absolute scale, I'm just saying that men judge the woman's value primarily based on looks. Okay, so women, when they find out what I do, they're like, "What? How do you like? What's game for women? Like, how do women game men? It's look your best, be in shape. Okay, which entails like going to the gym if you're if you're overweight. But going to the gym always helps, anyways, to to get into optimal shape. And then wear makeup so you're enhancing your your facial aesthetics. And then, other than that, don't be a bitch or a cunt, okay? And sorry for those words. Actually, not really sorry. I kind of speak off the cuff on this channel. And, uh, you know, like kind of don't create a lot of drama. Like be cool, right? So if a girl is like not being a bitch and like taking care of herself and wearing makeup, she's going to... Um, She's going to be attractive, okay? And she's going to be of value to you. Now, flipping the, the equation here, what, a woman, what, does women, what do women look for in a man when they're sizing up a man's value, okay? Mystery says, and this is very heavily rooted in evolutionary psychology, which is science, that women are attracted to survival and replication value, okay? Think back in evolutionary times, you know, hundreds, thousands of years ago, Prior to modern society, modern technology, all these things, a woman wants a man that is going to ensure high chances of her and the young surviving, okay? So they're attracted to strength, dominance, okay, confidence, how a man carries himself, okay? All these things are attractive to a woman because they signified a better ability to care for the young, okay, protect her and provide a life. For her, for her and the offspring, okay? So mystery says we have five, or women women have five hardwired attraction switches, okay, built into them. Leader of men, okay, are you, are you leading the, the, the pack, leading the tribe, so to speak? Are you the alpha male? 
uh, protector of loved ones. Okay, do you stand up for her? Do you stand up for yourself? Do you stand up for people that are close to you? Okay, are you assertive? Do you have boundaries as a man? Uh, Pre-selection, other attractive women, other high value women approve of you. Okay, and, and want to be around you. That makes you more desirable to other women. Um, willingness to emote. Okay, are you are you able to express yourself? Are you able to display a range of emotions? Okay, or are you kind of you know, worried about whether what others think and kind of in this little own, like, uh, you know, shy, passive, weak place. Okay. All these things that, that dry up a vagina. Okay. And last but not least, uh, adventurous life. Okay. Do you have cool shit going on? Do you have stuff that can add a lot of value to her life and can make her life more fun? Okay. So we have kind of an advantage as men. Okay. Even if we're born uh, more on the unattractive side, okay. Looks obviously matter to women as well. I'm not one of those people that say looks don't matter. I think that's totally retarded. RSD said that so that they could just level the playing field and say everything's just game. Okay, that's not true. Game is a large part of the equation, but you should still optimize. Okay, don't be fat. Don't wear shitty clothes. Don't ha don't have a shitty haircut or you know bad um, hygiene, etc. Okay, but the good news is, like unlike women, right? Like like if a, if a girl's like a three. Okay, out of 10, I'm just speaking candidly here. If a girl's like a 3 out of 10, most guys will not give a flying fuck if she has an amazing personality, okay? That, that's not what Disney movies say. That's not what my mother thinks, okay? My mother is a, a firm advocate of it's on the inside that matters. That's unfortunately not how we are hardwired as men. That's, a, that's the sad reality of it, okay? This is not me being shallow or misogynistic. This is just how we are programmed, okay? As I said, an elderly man that's been in love, okay, for 60 years would much rather bang... Okay, uh, from an attraction standpoint, a physical attraction standpoint, um, a younger hot chick than his old decrepit wife. Okay, but what about love? <laughs> but what about his uh, chemically addicted brain? Okay, when you're in love, it's oxytocin. It's no different than being addicted to like a hard drug, like heroin. Okay, that's why when you go through a a breakup with someone that you've spent a lot of time with and had a, a bunch of semantically close emotional experiences with that you have almost like a withdrawal effect, okay, when that, when that person is removed from your life. Uh, that being said, right, like, if you see a hot chick and you turn your back for a second and you look back at her again, she's not going to suddenly become like a fat, gross troll, okay? But when you're a man and you're displaying yourself confidently and cool and all this stuff, and then you commit what's known as a demonstration of lower value or, or a DLV, it's like, she turned for a second and turned back and you became like the big, fat, ugly troll, okay? So your value is changing in real time, okay, for, for this woman based on how you're carrying yourself, okay? And they're very perceptive. Women, women have 10 times more white matter than men on average, which is responsible for interneuronal connections, social and verbal tasks because they were around in the tribes caring for the young. Men have four times as much gray matter because they're out hunting and solving problems and this and that. Okay, and that's why in our modern day, men on average prevail at engineering and, and you know science, logical tasks, okay? The top poker players, top chess players, etc. That's not fully explained away by gender differences, okay? Or socioeconomic factors. People try to import these other things. We have very specific strengths and weaknesses as genders, okay? But women excel and 10x white matter okay so they're better at sizing up social situations an 18 year old woman has more social acuity than i do even though i've approached tens of thousands of girls and slept with 1274 1274 at the time of this recording um they're just more hardwired okay so what that means is they're very perceptive guys try to be the cool guy be the funny guy be the entertaining guy be the clever guy okay and that all backfires because it's not congruent with who they are and the girls see that you're trying to like micromanage and put out a different version of yourself than you really are. What this means is you need to not only embrace, okay, becoming the high value guy, but you need to actively make things happen in your life so that you do have lots of cool shit going on, okay, so that you are standing up for yourself and asserting boundaries, so that you are dating hot women and other women see that, okay, so that you are the leader of men, that you are the protector of loved ones, you are the full package, okay. You want to present the highest value that you can possible and not just as a facade, okay, like Tyler Durden does, where he pretends to be the cool guy and the, the high value guy, okay, and, and you just see right through it and see he's a fucking total loser, okay, it's not like that. It's actually becoming the high value guy and as you go through more of this game stuff and have more experiences with hotter and cooler chicks, 
you evolve and you become that guy. And then it is fully congruent. Okay. I was the shyest guy in my entire high school out of 750 kids. Okay. And I've come a long way. And what happens, the whole fun of the game is that you're evolving. You're actually becoming higher value. You're actually becoming the cooler, more, more confident guy. And it doesn't need to be these two separate personas. Like here's me, the low value guy. And here's me, the alter ego pickup superstar hero. Okay. High value. Awesome dude. You merge these things and this is you at all times. That's why I don't believe in state. That's why I don't believe in, you know, putting on like this like game persona. You need to bring this high value A game to the table at all times. Okay. Just like a hot chick is going to try to go to the gym and wear makeup and, and present the best version of herself to present the best, most attractive, high value version of herself. Cause, cause men are responding to these physical characteristics and women are responding to survival and replication value. Okay. So that's the main summary of differences. I hope that was helpful. I'm headed to the gym and uh, reminder, sign up. There's a couple spots remaining for our next round of eight week mentorship. Get on a free call with me. I will tell you about it, diagnose your game and tell you how we can take you to the next level. Okay. And please do not sign up there. You know, we have limited opportunities to talk to people each day and the, and the schedule is usually packed. Do not sign up if you are broke. Okay. Because it's not guys are like, Oh, I have $0 and you're not interested in talking to me for an hour about how you can help me. Actually, no, I'm not because I'm not. And then they're like, oh, you're only interested in making money. No, that's not true. But there's plenty of guys that I can help. Okay. And this is a business here. I give a lot of free content on YouTube, but in terms of like going hardcore and turning into an elite full package guy that, that will cost money. Okay. But it, it is not a lot of money and it is a lifelong investment to get you the daily life of your dreams for the rest of your life. Okay. Which in the grand scheme of things, the, the tiny investment is going to pay off a million fold. Okay. And you're going to have amazing success starting two to three weeks within the program. You're going to just explode with results. Okay. Link is in the description. Do not delay spots will fill up. Okay. As they did the last time. So thank you so much for, for listening. Subscribe if you have not already. Hope this was insightful. I feel like a college professor. Sometimes I will see you guys in the next video and look out for a roast coming later in the week with a surprise guest. Take care.